Gregory Boynton was born in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho on December 4, 1912, and grew up in the logging town of St. Mary's, Idaho, in Tacoma, Washington. In 1930, he enrolled in the University of Washington, where he joined ROTC. He graduated in 1934 with a bachelor's in aeronautical engineering. He married shortly after his graduation and worked for Boeing as a draftsman and engineer. He decided to apply for flight training and became a cadet pilot in the U.S. Marine Corps. He attended the basic school in Philadelphia from July 1938 to January 1939. On completion of the course, Boynton was transferred to the 2nd Marine Aircraft Group in San Diego. Boynton resigned his commission in the Marines in August 1941 to accept a position as a civilian contractor flying in China for pay. The unit he joined was known as the Flying Tigers to defend China and the Burma Road. In his time there, he downed four enemy aircraft and flew hundreds of missions. In April 1942, he broke his contract with the Flying Tigers and was quickly recruited by the U.S. Marines, who were in need of pilots with experience. He deployed to the South Pacific as executive officer of BMF-121, operating out of Guadalcanal. After a long period of running nothing but scout missions, Boynton was transferred to BMF-214, better known by its nickname, the Black Sheep Squadron. Boynton received the name Pappy because at age 31, he was a decade older than most of the Marines serving under him. In the Black Sheep Squadron, Boynton became famous for his exploits flying the F-4U Corsair. During his squadron's first tour of combat duty, the Major shot down 14 enemy fighters in 32 days. By the end of 1943, his record had climbed to 25. One of his great attacks was his attack on Kahili Aerodrome. He and 24 fighters circled the field where 60 hostile aircraft were based. In the on January 3, 1944, he tied the American record of 26 enemy planes destroyed when he downed an enemy plane over Rabo. On the same day, he too was shot down. The mission had sent 48 American airmen, including one division of four planes from the Black Sheep Squadron. Boynton was the tactical commander of the flight. In the dense action, the Major was seen to shoot down his 26th plane. He then became mixed in the general melee of diving, swooping planes, and was not seen or heard from again during the battle, nor did he return with his squadron. The Americans launched a determined but futile search. Boynton was declared missing in action. He was then picked up by a Japanese submarine and became a prisoner of war. He was never recorded as captured and not reported to the Red Cross. He spent the rest of the war some 20 months in Japanese prison camps. After being held at Rabul and then Krupp, where he survived the massive U.S. Navy raid known as Operation Hailstone, he was then transported to Ofuna and finally to Omori Prison Camp near Tokyo. He, find, he made many friends with the other American captives. While being held, the atomic bombs dropped, and Boynton was released from custody at Amori Prison Camp on August 29, 1945. Boynton returned to the United States on September 12, 1945, where he was met by his former squadron members. A party was held in downtown San Francisco. Shortly after his return, he was ordered to Washington to receive the nation's highest honor, the Medal of Honor. He also received the Navy Cross from the Commandment of the Marines. After the war, Boynton worked various civilian jobs, including refereeing and participating in professional wrestling matches. After a long period of retirement, Boynton passed away in his sleep at age 75 on January 11, 1988, in Fresno, California.